Hi everyone, in this video I am going to show how to find the value of n where 3 to the power n plus 2 to the power n is equal to 35. Here n is positive integer. Okay. Or now we can write here 3 to the power n whole to the power 1 plus 2 to the power n whole to the power 1 is equal to 35. Now this one can be written as 3 over 3 or 3 to the power n whole to the power 3 over 3 plus 2 to the power n similarly this one can be written as 3 over 3 is equal to 35 or 3 to the power n whole to the power now we can write here 1 over 3 times 3 plus 2 to the power n whole to the power 3 times 1 over 3 is equal to 35. Now we know that a to the power m whole to the power n is equal to a to the power mn. So apply this rule we can write 3 to the power n over 3 whole to the power 3 plus similarly here we can write 2 to the power n over 3 whole to the power 3 is equal to 35. Now let 3 to the power n over 3 is equal to x and 2 to the power n over 3 is equal to y. So, we can write x cube plus y cube is equal to 35. x cube plus y cube is equal to 35. Or, now, here we can use an algebraic identity so we can write here x plus y times x square minus xy plus y square is equal to 35 now attention here this x plus y is less than this x square minus xy plus y square because there are sum of two squares and this 35 can be written as 1 times 35 and 5 times 7 so there are two cases case 1 here we will get x plus y is equal to 1 it is called equation 1 and x square minus xy plus y square is equal to 35 it is called equation number 2 or squaring both sides we can write here x plus y whole square is equal to 1 square or this is a algebraic identity so we can write here x square plus 2xy plus y square is equal to 1 and it is called equation number 3 now subtract equation 3 from equation 2 we can write here x square minus xy plus y square minus x square minus 2xy minus y square is equal to 35 minus 1 or this cancel out this and this cancel out this here we will get minus 2xy minus xy is minus 3xy is equal to 35 minus 1 is 34 
or divided both side by minus 3 we will get x y is equal to minus 34 over 3 so this is rejected because here is negative sign so it is rejected okay now we can use case 2 case 2 so we can write here x plus y is equal to 5 and x square minus x y plus y square is equal to 7 so we can write here x plus y is equal to 5 it has called equation 1 and x square minus x y plus y square is equal to 7 it has called equation number 2 or squaring both sides we can write here x plus y whole square is equal to 5 square or this is a algebraic identity so we can write here x square plus 2xy plus y square is equal to 5 square that means 25 and it is called equation 3 ok now subtract equation 2 from equation 3 equation 2 minus equation 3 we can write here x square plus 2xy plus y square minus x square plus xy minus y square is equal to 25 minus 7 or now here this cancel out this and this cancel out this so we will get 2xy plus xy is 3xy is equal to 25 minus 7 is 18 now divided both sides by 3 we will get xy is equal to 6 and it has called equation number 4 ok now recall equation 1 recall equation 1 we will get x plus y is equal to 5 or taking this x to right side we will get y is equal to 5 minus x so we will get y is equal to 5 minus x and it has called equation 5 now again recall equation 4 recall 4 we can write here x y is equal to 6 here y is equal to 5 minus x from equation 5 so we can write here x times 5 minus x is equal to 6 or x times 5 is 5x x times minus x is minus x square taking this 6 to left side we will get negative 6 is equal to 0 now multiplying both sides by negative 1 and re rearranging left side we will get x square minus 5x plus 6 is equal to 0 or x square now this negative 5x can be written as negative 3x negative 2x plus 6 is equal to 0 or now taking common x to first two term we will get x times x minus 3 and taking common negative 2 to last two term we will get negative 2 times x minus 3 is equal to 0 or now taking common x minus 3 we will get x minus 3 times x minus 2 is equal to 0 now attention here there are two values of x so x1 is equal to 3 and x2 is equal to 2 ok now recall equation 5 recall 5 we can write here y is equal to 5 minus x so there are two so we will get two values of y y1 is equal to 2 and y2 is equal to 3 so we can write here x comma y 
is equal to 3 comma 2 and 2 comma 3 but remember let x is equal to 3 to the power n over 3 and y is equal to 2 to the power n over 3 now first case when x comma y is equal to 3 comma 2 we will get we will get 3 to the power n over 2 is equal to 2 and 2 to the power n over 3 is equal to 3 no integer solutions so this is rejected now case 2 second case when x comma y is equal to 2 comma 3 then we can write here 3 to the power n over 3 is equal to 3 or we can write here 3 to the power n over 3 is equal to 3 to the power 1 or 3 or n over 3 is equal to 1 so n is equal to 3 and 2 to the power n over 3 is equal to 2 or 2 to the power n over 3 is equal to 2 to the power 1 or n over 3 is equal to 1 so n is equal to 3 so finally we can write here n is equal to 3 and it is our final answer thanks for watching if you like this video please subscribe to my channel and see you in the next video bye bye